She looks oh, rivetingly she excited in there. What's that? Your oh, daughter. Um, that's Bethany, that's Dawn's daughter. Oh, is it? Oh, sorry. Yeah. yeah. Um, phones, isn't it? That's what they do. Look at phones all day long. What did we do? What, what, did we, what did we do when we were young? We didn't look at phones. Uh, we went out and made our own energy. Yeah. <laughs> 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 That's it. All put back together properly now. Nobody knew any better. So uh, actually works really well. Put the forks upside down. I know the health and safety man will probably frown and touch and shake his head, but I was saying to Ed about us not being able to get any grant aid towards um, building the barn roofs and you know pretty disappointing really but that is literally to, down to nothing more it's not because of the size of the farm or the type of the farm or anything like that it is simply I'm in the wrong postcode the same rules would apply to him up there um, unless he's outside the um, low priority zone so yeah we're just in apparently we're not very important here so we don't we don't warrant any uh, any financial assistance. So unless I decide to do things like not to put fertilizer on the grass, I could get a grant for that. But then what's going to feed them? Not cutting my hedges, I could get some grant for that. But I like my hedges tidy. Although I could go half and half, which is kind of what we do already on some of it. I don't cut all my hedges tops anyway. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to have another chat with uh, Mark from FWAG and just sort of see, is it worth my while putting anything in up here to claim for government help to try and replace what we're going to lose on the basic payment scheme? I don't think, and I think it's designed deliberately that way, I don't think we're going to get anything like the amount of support that we did before, so. Is that Abby? No. Right, I'm just giving the cows a bale, but when I went into the barn, as I was reversing out in the skid steer, I caught something out of the corner of my eye. Something that I'd suspected earlier, because of all the noise going on down here. But um, then we got tied up with fertilizer spreading, and the noise stopped. But I think I now know why. There was a bunch of noise down here. And I think it's up there. Go on. Go on. Oh. I was kind of hoping to keep the calf out for a minute. Right. I spent what lap now the calf has slipped through the bars of the third one. We should be alright. Right there. Yeah. You stay there. All right, sweetheart. Seven double O three two three. She really was quite annoyed. 
Uh, right, I'm going to chuck them out and do some bedding, I think. Go on, out you go. Out you go. Good girls, that's the way. Out you go. Thank you. Afternoon world, welcome to Friday 22nd of March. Yes, afternoon. Half the day's already gone. But don't worry, we've got plenty to do this afternoon. Okay, first job is, well it's not the first job, I've already done. Three, four quotes and one shed. So I've already done some of it. So. Fifth or sixth job for today is um, we've just changed Dad's power supply from British Gas to Eon. Um, some of you already know I was doing this, and some people said, "Oh yeah, Eon, great company, never any problems." Some, some people said, "Oh, Eon, the worst company ever." I think it's the same as wherever you go. It's sometimes you ring up and speak to the right person, and sometimes you ring up and speak to the wrong person, and it's all down to kind of luck of the draw so uh, brother did a little bit of research and for what we wanted at Tether Farm for what we needed Eon was offering the best price or the best option at the time so um, provided they do what they say they're going to do at the price they say they're going to do it right now I've got nothing to complain about so the transition's been quite simple the only thing we haven't done, is because I forgot to do it last time I was there, and my brother hasn't done it, is I've got to take a meter reading. <laughs> so I've got to go all the way over to the farm, to the barn, to go and take a photograph of the meter, because that's what I should do. I should just email them a photograph of the meter. There's the meter reading. There's no argument about it. There's a picture of it. Send them that, and then that job is done. So while I'm over here, I'll probably call in to see me dad because I've not seen him for a couple of days. And then when we come back, then I, I got off this muck. Muck, yeah. Uh, so I've been wandering around the farm with my daughter this morning, Holly, because she's getting really twitchy about, not this weekend coming, but next weekend. Um, we've got this uh, charity event on for uh, the Great Western Air Ambulance. And if, it's, if, the, if the weather forecast is right, it's not going to be that dry. So we're having to come up with 
options. Easy option is cancel it. Just don't do it. Less easy option is tweak it. So um, unless the weather's really bad, we're still gonna continue on and do it, but we might have to tweak how we do it. I'll tell you about that later. Yeah, it looks like, well, it looks like we've got a bit of activity in here. So I thought it was going tomorrow, but perhaps it's gone today. We're about to find out. Oh. Hmm, intriguing. So we seem to have gained a bit. I think, I think maybe Reg has added a bit of his to ours. Um, so I think we've got a load going out tomorrow. As I understand, the decision was made um, to sell this year's crop. Um, the price has gone down steadily over the last, well, three or four months. <coughs> I think it's sort of November or sometime last year, it was about 190 a ton, and the group um, that Reg is a member of uh, kind of says, well, the second it reaches 200, we'll sell it. It never did that. It never went up. That's what we thought it was going to do. We thought it was going to go up, and it, did, it said it went down. So it went down a bit, and they said, oh, well, it's only gone down, it's a dip. Hopefully it's going to recover and come back. It never did. It continued and continued and continued. We were kept hoping it was going to go back and go back. And in the end, um, yeah, 30 pound a ton, I think we've lost. Um, and if you work on, say, 200 tons times 30, yeah, that's kind of not the best decision in the world. But, you know, shit happens. Right, we are here to read this fella. Okay, what's she after? What are you after? Have you found something? Hey? I get the feeling there might be an M-O-U-S-E in here somewhere. Is he in there? Eh? Is he in there? Oh. She seems quite keen on the idea of having a look in there. What's in there? 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 What's this? <laughs> so I can't actually see a thing. I don't know what's going on here. <coughs> right. Okay. We've been temporarily distracted by potentially a rodent that has potentially gotten in here somehow. She seems quite keen to get up behind there. Mm -hmm. Oh, here's something. Something squeaked. Something squeaked. What you got in there? Wood mouse. Bring him here. Biscuit, bring him here. Oi, psst. Bring him here. Come on, bring him here. <laughs> She's not sharing. Right, well, we didn't want him in here anyway, so... That, that might explain why I was occasionally finding footprints. Did you get that mouse? I think you did. Yeah, I think he's dead now. He's done for. I had a big one, didn't he? Right, not sure if wood mice aren't protected, but someone forgot to tell Biscuit. Didn't they, eh? Someone forgot to tell you. 
but you couldn't be in here anyway. It's just not allowed. She's pregnant. Right. Hmm. Sorted her out. Right, okay. We are done in here. Apparently they're coming over Sunday for three loads. And yes, that was 15 ton that Andy's tipped in there today. Um, because it wasn't worth sending the lorry to two different locations, mainly because there's a bridge between him and us that the trailer can go in underneath easy enough, but not so much the lorry. So it's just as easy to bring 15 ton. They can do that on one of those big K2 trailers in one, one tip. So, right then. I wonder if that mouse got in there because they should not be able to get in there. That should be a blinking mouse proof building. It's sealed out. I mean, there's obviously a hole somewhere, but you can't get under there. You can't get under there. There's no other way in. Hmm. Right. Okay. Should we look at some wheat? Uh, we'll go that way. Well, it's not sticking to my boots now, but we are going a bit yellow. We need some sunshine and a drop of nitrogen. I mean, it's generally still, still green, green enough. I've seen fields a lot yellower when they've probably been in the ground a lot longer, so I've suffered this wet longer. Right, let's look over the brow over there and grass. We'll go look at my grass and then we'll go home via my dad's drink his coffee. Yeah, it's looking a bit patchy over there again. Um, that would be one of the fields. That one there and little, um, little barnels. I think over there, we might put down to this wild bird food seed thing because that's the second time that well, rain has more or less washed the crop out over there. So yeah, if we're gonna forfeit a couple of pieces of ground for wild bird seed, obviously we're not gonna do the best bits. It'll be the bits that take the most work and um, produce the least amount, obviously. But yeah, it's generally, a, it's green enough. It's all right. I see worse. Come on, you. Right then. Grass. Again, a few patches where where it got very, very wet and held water, but this is the first time I've really been able to walk out here. It's a bit squelchy and it's a bit washed out in a few places, but generally it's got the makings. We have a fairly decent layer here. I don't think I'm going to get at least two cuts off this this year. I hope I am. I think this first run here was when he was trying to set up the drill. Um, there was a couple of bits where he stopped and started. If you go back and look at the videos, you'll see that. But yeah, go down there. Looks brilliant. Up here. Oh, you can see some bare patches. So, yeah, that's that field of wheat that's not doing so well in comparison to that one and the one behind, which is doing considerably better. So, yeah, that field's worth £835 a hectare to plant into wild bird seed for three years with no inputs, um, nothing to go off it, nothing to go on it. All I've got to do is top it a couple of times. Yeah, money for old rope, innit? So, as long as it's not too much. It's like I said to Dad yesterday, I don't want to be a park keeper. I don't want to just come out here making it look pretty for people to come and walk their dogs all over it. 
actually want to produce food. So, right, we'll wander right into the next field, next door to corn, and just see what it's like out there. But it is looking a lot, a lot better. Actually, if anything, this side looks even better. I'm actually quite pleased. Considering the amount of rain we've had, and very little sunshine, I reckon if you led down on this, <laughs> you'd very nearly be able to hear it growing. 